So let's talk about what's coming up on my channel for April Fool's Month in April of 2021. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dole, better known to you as the Big D. This time around, I bring to you my schedule for April 2021. Now this is just going to be my schedule only, with, though I usually mention pickups as well, but unfortunately I only got a mere one thing. I'll show that to you at the... To you, which I'll show to you later on. But before I get things started, it's time for the gold, the silver, and the bronze Big D's. These go to the videos that got the most views. Now, just a slight heads up, the Q&A announcement will not be accepted since it was a one minute, less than a minute video. So even though I got 40 v over 40 views, it will not be accepted. So I humbly apologize. These are for the bigger videos. So, the gold Big D goes to the most viewed vid, and with 63 views is the Q&A number 7 I did last weekend. The silver Big D goes to the second most viewed video with 49 views, the Spring Break livestream. That was turned out pretty good. The Q&A turned out a little well, but unfortunately there have been some that tried to take me for... Well, you get the point. And the bronze big D goes to the third most reveal since I'm not I'm excluding the Q&A announcement. So just behind with 39 views, the coming to America review. So congratulations to our winners. Now my only pickup for the month just happens to be the recent hit from Bloomhouse. Freaky, yeah. I recently picked this up a week ago, and, well, I gotta tell you, this was a blast. Now, expect a review of this on April 9th. And, yes, this will be a, it will be spoiler-free, just in case, since it's been out, it has been out for about a half a year now, so if the movie's been out for less than a year, I will do a spoiler-free review of but if it's over a year and I have not reviewed it, then it's getting spoilers, okay? Enough said, my friends. And anyway, I, I'm glad to see y'all have been enjoying um, my reviews of the Mighty Ducks trilogy. I can't believe the three's done better than the other two. It's not the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> and... Um, and I thank y'all for watching um, the Kung Fu Panda reviews. I mean, the first two have already skyrocketed in views, and number three is starting to do the same thing. The Spy Kids reviews done so well. I'm very surprised to see that Tomcats has gone, has now reached 30 big views. That's very impressive, as a matter of fact. So here's the rest. Of, here's my schedule for. This month, aside from this. Now, I had to make some last-minute changes. Now, I've taken down some movies I were I was going to review. That include the rest of the Scary Movie series. I'm putting three on, and four on hold for now. I can't guarantee you five. I'm still not sure I want to watch it. I was going to do Airplane 2, the sequel, but I'm putting down hold as well. So, I humbly apologize. I was going to review the rest of the Scary Movie franchise, but... I will still do number two, though. Okay, so here we go. Later on tonight, I will be reviewing the 1986 slasher April Fool's Day, which I will be re-watching on Prime as long as it's still there. And I checked, it's not gone yet, so that's good. Okay, on April 2nd will be a review of Big Fat Liar, something I had was intending to review uh, this, well... For a while. On the third will be my Saturday morning t first Saturday morning TV log. And it was the one I was going to review do last time. The Mighty Heroes. The last series from Terry Tunes. Now and possibly on that day. If I go to the theaters. I'm going to give you a review of Godzilla vs. Kong. And it will be spoiler free. If not I will try and find another spot for it. So details to follow. On, on Sunday. 
the April 4th, which it happens to be Easter itself. I will be reviewing for the first one of, of Illumination Entertainment films. No, not Despicable Me. That's still coming, though. It's their second movie, Hop, which it's on Netflix. I'm going to try and revisit that. Also, I will review the original, Here Comes Peter Kindtail. I need to rewatch that. On 6, though I dropped the sequel though, but I will finally give you my long awaited review of Airplane. Now I will review Airport, which the, is the film that inspired this, later on. Now, let's see. On the 7th, which that was the day I scheduled April's t Airplane 2, but it's gone, so in its place will be Episode number two of my new program, The Wide World of Game Shows, which I've now seen my first episode on Buzz, has gone over 20 views. Thank you. And it will be on Child's Play, the Bill Cullen game show that came out in 1982, where grown-ups get to guess words after hearing a definition described by kids. I'm looking forward to doing that. Now then, okay, and... Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I did mention, forgot to mention that on the fifth, I will be doing. Yeah, I gotta go back a few days. I forgot. I put this in at the last minute. On the fifth, I'll be doing a ranking of my favorite Roy D. Mercer calls. This had been in limbo for some time. I was gonna do all tracks per album, but I decided to scrap it. I'm gonna try and do a ranking of favorite calls of his. And then, of course, on the 9th will be the Freaky Review, spoiler-free. On the 10th will be, well, a former guilty pleasure of mine, that being Date Movie. On the 12th, well, no, wait, not, I'm, yeah, I have myself. On the 11th will be Josie and the Pussycats, the movie which is celebrating, will be celebrating its 20th anniversary. This was a guilty pleasure. Then on the 12th will be Epic Movie. Let's see here. And non teen Movie on the 14th. The 5th... Now, oh yeah, I'm back on the 10th. I, I'm sorry. My next Saturday morning TV law on the 10th will be 1981's The Quickie Koala Show uh, from Hanna-Barbera. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to go rapid fire on this. I humbly apologize for that. <laughs> Now, on the 15th will be episode 3 of the Wide World of Game Shows, and it's on the great game of reels, Jackpot. Let's see here. Um, okay, then on the 16th will be the George of the Jungle with Brendan Fraser. On the 17th will be my next Saturday morning TV law, and I'll be on the new adventures of Gilligan from 1974. And then possibly sometime on that day, I, or the next day, I will be, hopefully I'll go to the theater, I can't guarantee you, to see the new Mortal, Mortal Kombat movie. Now, I may not have reviewed the first, the original two, so that's to be safe for another day, okay? Then on the 18th will be a TV log on... A real guilty pleasure of a show, the Syphil and Ollie show, which aired on the MTV. On the 19th, it's back to doing a, a more guilty pleasures, and and it'll be a Dudley do right. I was going to do the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle movie, but that's on hold uh, for now. On the 20th, I'll be doing two uh, bad movies that bombed so badly. First will be a 20th anniversary review of what is considered one of the worst movies out there, Freddy Got Fangered with Tom Green. And on that same day, I'll be reviewing, um, well, now back to being a guilty pleasure, my after seeing its uncut version, The In Crowd. On the 21st will be another guilty pleasure, the, the hit film Blue Streak with Martin Lawrence. Let's see. Oh, back up a cup. Oh, no way, I'm not back up. I'm sorry. On the 22nd will be my next Wide World Game Shows episode, episode 4, and it's Win Ben Stein's Money. Yeah, I love that game. They introduced us to Jimmy Kimmel, you know. 
On the 23rd, another guilty pleasure, Mr. Magoo with Leslie Nielsen. I was going to do the Naked Gun series, but uh, I haven't had time to revisit those. If I can get a chance, maybe I'll do them down the road. Sorry. Uh, then on the 24th, I'll be doing the other Gilligan's Tune for Saturday Morning TV Log, Gilligan's Planet from 1982. And then later on, I'll be doing a back-to-back -back review of a couple of guilty pleasures, the Devil in the Flesh movies. The first with Rose McGowan, the second with Joey Lynn O'Keefe. On the 25th will be my review of Scary Movie 2. The 26th will be a TV log of Dinosaurs, which I'm almost done watching on Disney+. Plus. I am looking forward to that. The 27th will be a review of Easy A. And on the 28th, a factual guilty pleasure. Probably was considered a real terrible movie from um, long ago. Probably a terrible disaster movie. The Swarm from 1978. Then on the 29th will be my next Wide World of Game Shows episode. And it'll be on the extremely underrated and possibly probably dissed a lot. Three's a Crowd. And finally, on the 30th, will be Daffy Duck's movie, Fantastic Island. Yeah, I'm going to finally review a Looney Tunes movie. Since I've been hearing Space Jam, A New Legacy, is coming out this summer, I'm going to try and review some Looney Tunes movies. Even though, despite the canceled a uh, starring Peppy Le Pew, but I'm glad Speedy Gonzalez has been saved, though. Well, at least I think he has, because I've seen he's in po you know, poster for the new Space Jam movie. But that's about it. Now, I had planned to do um, rant on Bobby Bones' show, details to follow on that. Possibly, I might celebrate um, four years of the John Boy and Billy Big Show. I think they came out on this month, four years ago. I think I'll have to check again. But I think I'm right. But just stay tuned, details to follow. And I'm sorry, no live streams this month. I'm taking a break from those. All right? No offense. I mean, no hard feelings, everyone. So, anyway. Thanks for watching this, and if you liked what you saw, you can check, you can, um, click, if you like, I mean, if you like this, click the like button, subscribe to my channel as well, be a part of the Big D Nation. Stay tuned for my review of April Fool's Day coming up tonight. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, you can check out these last few big vids that have done so well in the last few days. The upper left-hand corner is my review of Spy Kids. The upper right-hand corner is Kung Fu Panda 2. And the bottom left-hand corner is my recent review of Kung Fu Panda 3. The bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.